04 Volvo S60 fuel pump replacement. I already removed the seats. You just grab on the front, pull up really hard, and it'll come right out. Then you got these two side pieces. Grab from the front, right at the top, pull hard, it'll pop out out of that big square. The remainder of it, you lift up. Obviously, you gotta feed the seat belt through through the little slot right there. Do that on both sides. Once you got that up and out, get you a flathead. Press down on the top of this connector. Pull the connector out on both sides. Then you got a bolt here. This is 15 millimeter. Take that out. Same on the other side. Then you have to come down here with a 15. This bolt here. I'm sorry, this nut here. And then this bolt here, which is the seat belt, but is made to the seat belt, so it won't come out. Take that out. The plate comes out. And just sit that there. Same thing on the other side. It's a little different. You just got a bolt on this side. The plate sits there. You got the bolt that goes in at the bottom and a nut on this side. And then this little bolt here is what goes on the side of the seat. It do not have the same seat belt bolt that is there. The seat belt is mounted to the side. Next thing you want to do, come to the bottom of the seat, lift up, pull it out of that groove. It sits in there, lift up, pull it out. It's only going to move so much. Go in the trunk. Grab this cable that's going to the back of the seat and pull it. And now to release it. Do the same on this side. Pull the cable and go on the inside. Lift this side up and out as well. Okay, so what's going to happen is your seats are going to fall forward like this on the passenger side. Got a lot of shit in this trunk. You lift up this floor. Shit out of my way. You lift up this floor panel. And you got a silver cap. Let me get this shit out the way. So I can show you what a fuel pump is. So the big seat on the passenger side will look like this. In order to get it out, you got this big plastic clip. Just slide it over towards the passenger side. And it should come out. So now we got the seats out. And on the passenger side, peel back this cover. And this little panel is your fuel pump. I think these is 10 millimeters. Let me get that cap off. Once you get the bolts out, pull the silver cap off. This flat rounded side goes over the wires. Now you got access to your fuel pump. But that's not just it. Now you got to come over to the passenger side. I mean, to the driver's side. And disconnect all of those wires because the wire harness from the fuel pump runs from this side all the way over the back and connects up over there to the sending unit. In order to get this plug out, you just pull up this little plastic retainer on the bottom that goes into that little white hole. Get you a flathead screwdriver. Push down right in this groove where my, where my nail is. Push down and your connector will come out. Once you get, once you get everything off, this is your fuel pump. It looks totally different. It's a special fuel pump. And it's internal. 